Hello everyone, this is Mamta Moon and today we will learn and solve questions 1 to 10 of exercise 9a, chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportion of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9a, questions 1 to 10 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio, Proportion and Unitary Method. And topics are concept of ratio, simplest form of a ratio, equivalent ratios, and simplifying ratios. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 4. An alloy consists, consists of 3 half gram of copper and 2 3 by 4 gram of tin. 3 half gram of copper and 2 3 by 4 gram of tin. Find the ratio of copper to that of the tin in the alloy in the simplest form. It is given that the alloy consists of 3 half gram of copper and 2 3 by 4 gram of tin. And we have to find the ratio of copper to that of tin in the alloy. So ratio of copper. Copper in alloy divided by tin in the alloy copper in alloy is 3 half gram of copper 3 half divided by 2 3 by 4 3 half is 3 mole we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Divided by 2. And if you want to know more about how to convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction, I will give the link in the description box. Please watch that video. 3 half. 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1. That is 7 divided by 2 and 2 mul 2 3 by 4 is 2 multiplied by 4 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is 11 divided by 4. Now 7 divided by 2 multiplied with 4 divided by 11. 2 and 4 cancel. Now 14 divided by 11 which is equal to 14 is to 11. And 14 is to 11 is the ratio of the copper to that of tin in the alloy and 14 is to 11 is the simplest form of the ratio 3 half gram is to 2 3 by 4 gram so the answer is 14 is to 11 the ratio of copper to that of tin in the alloy is 14 is to 11 now question number 5 in a book shop 5 divided by 12 of the people are males and write the ratio of males and the females in the shop in a book shop 5 divided by 12 of the people are male so number of male will be 5 and total number of people is 12 total number of equal is 12 and number of male person number of males is 5 so number of females will be number of females will be total number of people total number of people minus number of males Total people is 12 and number of males is 5. That is 12 the minus 5 is 7. Now number of females is 7. Now write the ratio of males and females in the shop. So number of male is 5 and number of females we got 7. So ratio will be 5 divided by 7. Now ratio of number of males 
to number of females. Number of males is 5. And number of females we got 12 minus 5 that is 7. So ratio of number of males to the number of females is 5 is to 7. So 5 is to 7 is the answer. Keep learning, keep watching and please visit my blog maxgrade.com. Link is in here. HTTPS www. This is my blog link. And join my telegram group. This is my telegram group link. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. If you like this video, then please click the like button and share this. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. If you have any doubts, then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.